You don't need 10 live streaming softwares or like 15 chat bots to make streaming work. There's actually only two programs that you need and we're gonna get into them right now. What's up streamers, it's Ashney Christ. I'm all about helping you pursue your dreams and learn to stream. And let's be honest, there are about a million videos like this one out there, right? There are about a million videos and a lot of them are done really, really well. Like if you haven't already checked out Epis Fox's channel, what are you doing with your life, right? There's a link for that below. I'll leave, yeah, cause go see his stuff. But let me tell you, streaming goes so much deeper than what gear you have, the games that you play, and even the software that you use. Like, what? Ah, oh, it goes so much deeper than that, for real. So if you haven't already, make sure that you hit subscribe, click the bell next to that so you can get notified when we post new videos. Okay, so there are only two programs that you need to make streaming work super well. Like, back in my day, we used to have to use six programs and Windows 7 to make, no, it, it's two now, which is awesome. Like, this is so much easier, thank you, thank you. <laughs> These two programs are gonna handle everything for you. So it's actually a broadcasting software and a chatbot, and I'm actually going to show you them. Those two things are Streamlabs OBS and Streamlabs Chatbot, which is formerly Ankbot, which was also amazing. Let's get into them. So what the heck is Streamlabs OBS? Well, Streamlabs actually came out in 2014, and I've been using it since then. In the very beginning, Streamlabs was competing with a few other people that were trying to make alert packages for Twitch streamers. But over the years, Streamlabs has kind of pulled ahead as like the most commonly used resource. Streamlabs OBS is their broadcasting software, which is similar to OBS. Yes. Now it's not the only broadcasting software out there, so for those of you who are rather experienced in the space already, if you want me to do videos over like Bebo or OBS or XSplit or whatever else, just let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more videos about more like software or hardware. Now if you're already in the live streaming community, you probably heard things like Streamlabs OBS is really buggy, don't use it. And I'm here to dispel this like myth and rumor right now. Yes the broadcasting software is still in beta so from time to time you might get some bugs aside from like the first two streams that i had with it i have had zero issues no problems nothing now is that going to be your experience maybe not Maybe it will be, who knows? But you should definitely try it out because I'm telling you guys, this software is just absolutely freaking amazing and this is why I like it. So this is Streamlabs OBS. This is the website for it. There's a link for the site down below if you haven't used this yet. And this is the actual software and it's freaking amazing. I'm gonna show you why. So first off, it's got the website freaking built in which is awesome. So this site is actually what you can use to organize all of the information, like see your alerts from your stream, see how much money you've made in like tips and bits and hosts and like everything that's happened during your stream. It has a kind of a log of everything that's gone down. And then there's also a ton of other stuff here. So you've got goals, right? So you can have tip goals or bit goals or sub goals. You've got stream boss, which is a little mini game. You've got the event list, the jar, stream labels. There's just a ton of stuff. If you guys want me to go into this and, and make an entire video about this, I can. I've tried before and it sucked, but I can. <laughs> and then we've got the themes section, which is absolutely amazing. This is so huge for people who are newer to streaming. The reason that it's huge is because you can actually download and install different themes to make your live stream look super professional. So say we want to pick, oh, let's just say this one. This is what we're going for. We click on it and then it's got examples of what this actually looks like whenever you put it onto your stream. So here is the way that your alerts would look. Here's the way that your new follower announcement, new donations or top tips or your webcam would look, your starting soon screen, your BRB screen. And there's a ton of these. So you can go through and choose a bunch of different themes and really customize your stream. So if you're newer and you don't have money to invest into a designer, then you actually can get still something that's kind of professional 
professional. Granted, some of them are really popular and you see them like all over the place on Twitch specifically. Uh, you might be seeing these themes a lot because they are free. At some point you'll want to work with the designer is basically what I'm trying to say here. Then you've got the editor which is where you go in and you can actually organize all of your scenes. So we've got a starting soon screen, we got my face scene which this is just like a huge camera right here but the camera is not attached so you can't see it right now. Then we've got our new sub scene, we've got screen only, we've got an upgrades image, a BRB screen, but all of these screens I've made with the Mint Dusk theme on Streamlabs OBS. So that's the one that I use if you were curious. It's awesome and I love it. And uh, also my headphones are kind of the same color which is really cool. Then you can also import your old scenes from OBS with one click one click it's so easy like it's ridiculous so for me they're all under untitled and this is pretty much all I have I went through and like deleted a bunch of my old OBS scenes because I don't really use them anymore so we've got the interview scene for the stream coach podcast and then we have the solo scene which you can see we don't really use this anymore I've I've kind of created an entirely different stream profile with this little mint dusk scene. So, but that's what's cool about this is you can have a bunch of different profiles. You can have this one could be like mint dusk could be live stream and then the other one could be YouTube stream and then the other one could be YouTube filming. Like there's a ton of different layouts and things that you can make and you can organize them so it's really efficient and very good time management. So, it's absolutely amazing. Then we've got the live section which has all of the stuff that's happened during your stream on it. So it's really easy to be able to refer back to different things that have happened for you to see like who's followed recently, who's tipped recently, and you can actually refer to this page whenever an alert comes up and you have to say something during your stream. So it's really easy and it's really great. And there's also this little uh, pop out chat right here. So if you don't want to use the Streamlabs chat bot, okay, which we'll go over in just a second, you can use this bot too. However, okay, the only thing that sucks about this is that this bot gets cut off whenever you make this Streamlabs OBS just like half of your screen, right? So if you've got your entire monitor, but then you scooch this over to be only half of your monitor, then the chat goes away. So that's actually why I use Streamlabs Chatbot as well as uh, because Streamlabs Chatbot just has a ton more features, right? So I want to prioritize being able to use that. The next thing we're going to talk about is your bot. Now, bot to live streaming means something very different than it does on Twitter. P.S. Thank you for that bot purge lately. Twitter, I see you. I see you. A chatbot in a live stream controls your chat. So you can run giveaways, you can have mini games in your chat during the stream. You can even program little commands like exclamation point Twitter and the bot will return your Twitter link so that you can promote your other content. Now, as I mentioned, Streamlabs chatbot is formerly Ankbot. Ankbot has actually been around for a few years as well and it is absolutely amazing. It is the bot to go to because of how much you can do with it. I did use this when it was Ankbot. I think I've been using this since like 2015 or something. It's amazing. It is so good. But it looks very intimidating, right? So this first thing you don't really need. That's just a bunch of different um, support links. However, if this does intimidate you, you go to this little question mark up here. You go to open documentation and then you get taken to the PDF of Streamlabs chatbot documentation, which goes into like, how do I set up all of these things? How do I set up a counter? How do I set up giveaways? How do I set literally like everything in the bot is covered in this documentation. So hopefully you will be a little bit less scared after you read through it. It also helps you with the initial setup, which speaking of, this is how you do it. Okay, so you connect your Twitch bot, you connect your Twitch account, and then I like to connect Streamlabs so that people can actually get their currency and then you're good to go. 
Okay, so now what happens? So we've hooked up to Streamlabs chatbot, but what the heck can we actually do with this software? Like what, what is this, Ashney? What are you talking about? So you've got your dashboard, which you can change the title and the game that you're streaming. It makes it super easy for you to be able to just like instantly change this information instead of having to go to your dashboard on Twitch. You've got manual and automated commercials, assuming you're partnered and you can actually run those. Automated hosting, like it's, like this, this alone is massive, right? Like this alone is extremely helpful. Then you've got your subscriber list, which mine actually like isn't populated right now. So don't just, let's just ignore that. Then you've got different commands. So these are different commands that I use during the stream, exclamation point hype. So what happens whenever we type exclamation point hype? Well, let's see. So we go over to console, cause this is actually our stream chat. We can choose this drop down link. We've got bot or streamer. We're gonna use streamer, exclamation point hype. And then Ben Sislin, our lovely bot, posts a bunch of emotes. This is what people do if we wanna spam because we have a new Yam fam member. But then there are other commands too, like the retweet command, the shout out command, Discord, Instagram, like lots of links, and also thanking people for lurking. You can do anything that you want with your commands list, but it makes it really easy for you to create different commands. And then you've got timers. So the timers are gonna be running consistently throughout your stream. Usually you space them out every like 10 or 15 minutes the bot will post one of these messages like for people that are just in your channel if they didn't know you had a discord channel or twitter or instagram or whatever else and they see the bot post this and that's a really easy way for them to be knowledgeable about that. However, that does not substitute for you saying the things that you have, right? Like you still need to be talking about what you create content on, all the other different platforms and what people can expect from those platforms during your stream as well. Then we've got a quote section, which I don't really use, extra quotes. You can run giveaways, which we do use these from time to time. There's song requests, sound files, queue, counter currency users. Like obviously I can go into way more detail about this one, just like I can with Streamlabs OBS, but there's a lot here. However, there's so much here that it can be overwhelming, which is where that documentation comes in. But that also means that it is a really fantastic tool and that now you only need to softwares to be able to run a stream. You use Streamlabs OBS, you use Streamlabs Chatbot, and you can basically run your entire stream through Streamlabs. So we can be reliant on this brand now because they have a broadcasting software and a chatbot and the alert packages and they do things like merch and giveaways and like they have an all-star program. Like Streamlabs is amazing, right? There are there yes yes that's the answer to that question i guess like who am i asking right now <laughs> something that i almost forgot to show you is the recent events isn't the only thing that you have in your live section on streamlabs obs so you've actually got redemptions where people can redeem their end stream currency you've got a music player which i don't actually use song requests during the stream for obvious reasons because people like to troll with it uh, but then you can also run like polls and giveaways through streamlabs obs and there are different live actions so it can announce to discord for you you can spin your little wheel if you've got one of those there's credits you can use to announce after your stream and then it will actually restart your session of stream labels for you if you need to do something like uh, reset your top tippers of the month or if you need to uh, empty your cup or something like that. Let me know if you liked this video. Maybe I'll do some more about software and hardware because I know that's kind of missing from this channel, but honestly, I don't know. Is this topic super played out already? What do you guys think? There's already a lot of people doing videos like these, so I don't really know yet what we can bring to this. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Love you.